Hi guys, welcome to part two and we made it all the way out to California. As you know, we've been learning about color and perspective and we're continuing that. And in California, we're gonna be focused on warm tones and POV perspective. We chose California for a number of reasons. One, the incredible landscapes around us. We're gonna be visiting some deserts and capturing the grains of the sand, the vibrant yellow tones, really conveys the warmth to the audience. Number two, it is always sunny in California. As you saw in New York, we were focusing on this kind of gray mood. However, here we're gonna be showing the audience how warm it is and by capturing lens flares from the sun and just showcasing the beautiful clear sky, it will really convey the warm tone. Thirdly, the sunrises and sunsets in California are some of the best I've ever seen. We're going to be heading to places like Laguna Beach to capture golden hour and I'll go through the importance of capturing golden hour as it's just the perfect time to capture these warm tones. The vibrant colours of the sun, the way it hits the skin tones and it just makes the whole shot warmer. And perspective, as I mentioned, we're going to be focused on POV shots. For those who don't know, that means point of view. On this road trip, we really want to convey the adventure to the audience. POV shots are really exciting and engaging for the viewer. It makes them feel immersed in the adventure and I'm going to be showing you how I've been doing those first person shots. So I guess let's get this road trip started. Stoked to be bringing you guys with us. We were just driving back and we came across these metal structures everywhere and we came across this serpent and it looks insane with this morning light. So quickly gonna jump on the 1635, just get some establishing shots and then some 50 mil shots to get the tide to finer detail. So as I mentioned earlier, we're really focused on these warmer orange tones and the metal structures have this burnt orange look to it and it complements the morning light really nicely. So finding colors that match up with the sunrise or sunset colors that work really nicely. They complement each other so well. So definitely another thing to keep in mind when on locations. So we made it to Laguna Beach for sunset and beaches are one of the best places to capture sunset. The way the light hits the water casts an amazing reflection and it just lights up the whole sky and the whole beach fills up with colour, adding to this warm environment. Also another point is the light conditions during golden hour, it's the best light you could ask for. No harsh shadows, just even light all around. And also getting silhouetted shots are perfect during the sunset hour, getting silhouetted getting a subject to stand on the rocks with the sun behind them. And also I'm going to check out Stark later on to see who's got some incredible sunset drone footage here in Laguna Beach to complement the stuff I'm about to get. Hopefully it will piece together an incredible golden hour sequence. So let's get shooting. Okay, made it out to Lucerne Valley, about a two hour journey from LA. And we're here again for golden hour. Like I mentioned before, golden hour is one of the best times to shoot, get those warm tones. And we're gonna be showing you guys the ultimate POV perspective, and that is dune buggies. I've never done it before, so this is gonna be really interesting. But we're gonna be showing you how using a POV perspective can really alter how the viewer sees these scenes using the GoPros. So we're gonna jump in, and I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna do that. Okay, so we're in the driver's seat and we're gonna be using a GoPro for these shots. We've got the mouth mount for the GoPro. So the plan is to hold it while driving and you just get a completely different perspective to the typical like 7200 shot or 1635. But to get a really unique perspective, we're gonna jump on the GoPro with a mouth mount and drive using the GoPro. 
Using the mouth guard is such a good tool to use for a GoPro. It gives you this complete POV experience. What a better way to show that while dune bugging in the desert. What's great about using the mouth guard is it follows your head completely. So the viewer will really feel like they're actually there. So they'll see the speed dials turning, dust coming through the windshield and the sun setting. So we're gonna jump in that right now, get the mouth guard and get filming. four hours last night in the complete pitch black to make it out here in Death Valley for sunrise. As you know, golden hour is one of the best times to shoot. We're looking for those warm tones, the sun to peek through the clouds, but at the moment it's looking kind of cloudy, which is not good. So it's good to know that we have stock to use to kind of get this beautiful sunrise sky if this one doesn't happen. So we can use a similar color, similar kind of cloud pattern, and it all matches up beautifully. So later on, I'm gonna go over a tutorial of how to do that. I wanna kinda of get this ball of sun time-lapse coming up behind Georgia as she's walking across the sand dune. So at the moment, these clouds are not gonna convey the mood we're aiming for. I wanna show how hot, how vibrant the sand is here, and that's why we're gonna utilize stock to kinda of match up the colors to get that message to the audience. So we're gonna try finding a perfect sky to match up with the sand dune. All right, so let's jump straight into this tutorial. We want to separate Georgia and the background. So we're going to create an After Effects composition. And we can normally use a rotoscope, but with this, we can actually use a Luma key. So we're going to go to the effects panel and type in Luma key. We want to separate the dunes and the background. And as you can tell, the background is actually brighter than the dunes in Georgia. So we're going to go to key out brighter and put it to a threshold of 123. So as you can see, there's still a little bit of background. So we're going to select the clip create a new mask, and we're just gonna outline around the background. Luckily on the left hand side, the background didn't touch the mountain, but on the right hand side, the background hit the dunes. So we're going to mask out carefully the sand dunes, but as we move the clip forward, the outline mask of the sand dunes doesn't match the outline of the sand as we move frame by frame. So we're gonna have to go to mask, mask path, and mask expansion, and click keyframes. And we're going to go frame by frame, making sure that the outline of the mask fits the sand dune. All right, with that done, time to head to Adobe Stock to find the perfect background sky. So we're gonna to go to the category of videos and type in sunset sky. And we're just looking for one that matches up with the sand dunes, creating that perfect warm tone we wanted. And we want a bit of movement, so we're gonna find one with a sunrise time lapse. This one looks pretty good. Okay, license. Okay, we've got that background now in the composition. Drag it underneath the clip of Georgia and the dunes and rename it to BG Sky. Let's move the background up so the nice warm colors of the sand match up with the sky. Scale it up a bit. And one of the most important things we're gonna learn is to match up the light. We also wanna reverse the clip so it emulates a sunrise. So right click the background sky, go to time and click time reverse layer. So we're gonna go to effects, color correction, levels. And make sure that you're on the first frame and we're gonna match up the sky with the dunes. So we're gonna adjust the levels, making it a bit darker. The next step is we're gonna use the same technique of using levels on the clip of Georgia. And we're also gonna match up the light here. And as you can tell through the sunrise clip, it gets brighter and brighter as the sun comes up. So we wanna recreate this. So to recreate this, we're gonna use keyframes in the levels. So make sure you're at the start of the clip, set a keyframe and drag all the way to the end and adjust the levels, making it brighter. So as the clip goes on, you can see it get brighter and brighter, creating that realistic sunlight. Just to match the colors a bit more and to make it a lot more realistic, we're going to add a hue and saturation effect and set the master hue to 10. This means we get rid of the neon blue color. We need to match up the camera movement. So create a tracker on the clip of Georgia, 
select a point that stands out. So I'm going to select these black dots in the background and it will automatically track these. Create a new null, edit target and make sure that layer is targeting null 1 and click apply and make sure it selects X and Y. Next step is to make the BG sky a 3D layer and just simply drag and parent link it to the null object. And there you go, it's tracked the realistic movement of the camera.